I need some uh, lacquered wire, I think is what you call it, for this project. So I'm going through my little box of bits, so I just happen to have a transformer here, which hopefully, if I take it apart, I might be able to salvage the windings on there and see if I can use them. Attached to the power lead on this transformer is this ferrite core. Um, that's going to be useful for something else, so definitely not throwing that away. Right, that's clipped away those bits stuck on the outside. We can see the contacts there where the coil windings have been soldered on. Right, that's the outer casing removed. Right, I'm guessing I'm probably going to come to a full stop here because uh, looking along the edge there that looks like that's been welded together and it also looks like it's all been um, covered in glue or wax or something to hold it all in place so I doubt whether I'm going to be able to get the coils out or at least unwind the coils I'll try a bit harder but I suspect Looking at that weld across there, and that weld across there, I don't think this is going to come apart. That's going to be a bit frustrating because you can see I've got lots of nice wire in there. But if I can only get that apart, I can unwind that and use it. Right, I'm not going to give up quite yet. I'm going to see if I can actually saw through the weld. You never know. Well, you probably do, but I'm going to try it anyway. Well, that's one side. We'll turn it over and have a go at the other side. Well, that was quite a surprise. I didn't expect it to come off that easily. Right. That's the top end of the core. pop out with a little tap or whether it's all glued in place. I've given it a couple of taps and clearly it's moving so I'll use my little tapping tool and tap it a little bit more. Rather than tap the coil what I'll try and do is tap the centre out. That's going nicely. Just see if we can catch the last tap. Done it. Coils of wire. So with a bit of luck, might be able to unwind them and reuse the wire. Right, found the edge of the tape that holds the or covers the outer coil. So we we'll unwrap that. Do that left-handed. some of the tape unwound and we've got our first coil of wire there, that's quite a small one. So I'll get that one off, wrap it onto something. Now we'll unwind the windings. I'll wind them up on here, which is where I keep my scrap wire and see what we get. Alright, that's the first layer or first winding recovered. Um, I didn't actually measure it I got about uh, 20 odd turns on this drum now, but uh, I couldn't tell you the diameter, so that doesn't really help. <laughs> I'll try measuring it later on. Right, the next layer or next winding is significantly thicker wire. I have no idea what thickness these wires are, so I'm not even going to try and guess. But this layer was about twice the thickness of the earlier winding that I took off. Right, that's the second winding removed. 
That was about 96 turns I got off. And that bit of sticky tape's useless, isn't it? Mm. Alright, this will be the third winding. This looks pretty thick wire as well. I think the wire I actually want to use when I finally get to my little project is going to be this stuff right in the middle. But anyway, we'll take the third winding off now. Right, that's the third winding recovered. I actually measured that one and it's about 12 metres. So now we've got to try and get to that one on the inside. That's quite handy, that's just pushing out. Obviously I'm trying to do it with my left hand while I'm holding the camera, which is not a good idea. So I'll stop doing that, but you can see it's pushing out easily. Yeah. I think I've got this in focus. There's actually four wires. There's one just there, two, three, and four. So there's obviously two more windings here. Take that back. It's not two windings. As soon as I remove the bit of tape, you can see... Probably a heat sensitive fuse or something. Uh, I can't do with me, that with my left hand, so. Yeah, there we are. Um, not quite sure what it's called. But I would guess um, that trips if it overheats. Handy little find. I'll do a little close up of that so I can include it. Just reading what it says on it uh, UMI 2 amp, 250 volt, 130 degrees C, Y2, 123, whatever that might be. So, so I assume it's a thermal cutout or something. Alright, stripped as much of that blue tape off as I can. It's actually um, falling apart so I pull it off so it's probably got overheated in its time. But now we're down to this wire that I want to recover. So this is the fourth winding. Well that was annoying. I was getting along nicely there at about uh, 23 metres. 23? No exaggeration, I had about 11 metres off then and the wire snapped as I was pulling it off because there's actually some glue on the edge here that snagged the wire so I was pulling it clear so that's annoying it looked like I was on for a nice run of wire there still got plenty left but uh, that's an 11 metre length that's not going to be a 20 or 30 metre length if that makes sense. Well, this is getting very frustrating. Just had another breakage. That was just over 20 metres I got off that time. And you see there's still plenty on there. It's just where they've um, sealed it all in place with glue or resin or something and it it keeps jamming, especially where it's up, ed up tight to the edge here. But I'll, I'll get the rest off. So there's plenty there. It's just getting very annoying because there's all this glue up around the edge. To get rid of the problem of the glue that's down in the cracks on the edge here, I've actually snapped away the edges of the plastic former. So now I can actually get it out a bit easier. Certainly I'm having more success now, which means I'll probably get a breakage now that I've stopped. Nearly done. All right, finished. That's the empty inner core. I've actually rewound the wire onto the outer core. Um, I measured that. That was a, just a shy of 100 metres. And if you remember, I had two false starts with it. Um, one was about 11 metres, 11 or 12 metres, and the other was about, uh, I think that was 15 or 20 metres. So I suppose in total I've got about. Um, well, very roughly 150 metres of that wire and about, well, I can't remember what I guessed that at, about 20 metres of that thicker stuff, I think, very roughly. Um, 
considering I originally thought I was going to get nothing out of it, because it was going to be too difficult to get apart, I'm quite pleased with that. So I can use this now. I've got a couple of little projects in mind. One is uh, making a radio receiver. I need to make a coil for that. Um, there's a few other things. Okay, so that's disassembling a power transformer. That's the old metal core. That's the plastic inner cores or formers. And that's all my recovered wire. 